Here's what I'm gonna wrap up with talking about geese. I'm a raving fan of geese. I think you can learn from everybody. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. Biggest people to learn from is who? Geese. I mean, let's face it. I mean, when's the last time you didn't pay attention to a goose? I mean, <laughs> you ever see those guys and you just say, wow, what can I learn from them? Okay. So here, I just gotta, I just gotta like to study stuff, right? Here, and let me talk a little bit about geese because this is gonna be something I think a lot of you are gonna get excited about. Here's a couple facts about geese that a lot of you probably already know. Number one is this. As each bird flaps its wings, it creates an uplift of the birds that are falling. By flying in a V formation, the whole flock adds 71% greater flying, okay, flying range than if one bird flew by itself. Do you guys see that? You ever see them flying in a V formation and think to yourself, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Here's what they're doing. They're doing what we need to be doing. Here's the lesson I learned from that is this, is when a new agent gets started, we must register them immediately for the next national event, okay? Agents who share a common direction and sense of community can get where they want to go quicker and easier because they're traveling on the strengths of one another. Wow. Do you guys see that? We got to get everybody registered. <laughs> That's how we're going to get 71% flying flying power. When a brand new agent gets started, and if you don't get them registered, that's like a, you know, a, a, a crazy goose. <laughs> it's crazy goose. Here's fact number two. Whenever a goose falls out of formation, it suddenly feels the drag and resistance of trying to fly alone and quickly gets back into formation to take advantage of the lifting powers of the birds immediately in front. Watch how smart this is. Can you imagine that? So they're like, man, you know what? I'm ready to make it happen. And then they get off course, it just, the drag is crazy. You guys? Can you imagine how tough it would be to be a goose? You're like, man, i got to just fly in formation. Would you guys agree with that? Here's a lesson I learned. When an, when an agent isn't committed to attending the next national, they will begin to face many challenges, and simple tasks will become very difficult. Wow. So you're going to have agents, guess what, that aren't registered. Okay? Because maybe you want to tell them what they want to hear instead of what they need to hear. When a brand new agent gets started, I'm not trying to say, hey, look, you know what? You might want to get registered for the... I'm not trying to sign people up. I'm trying to develop leaders. What are we doing here, guys? Someone's not going to go to the convention. I'd rather them just be a, a, pers a preferred, you know, just be become a VIP customer. Do you guys see that? I'm not... If someone's like, I want to be an agent, but I don't want to go to the event. Well, just be a VIP customer. If you ask me, Tim, would you rather have 1,000 customers or 1,000 agents? I'd take 1,000 customers all day long. Why? Because when an agent d doesn't stay committed... They're not going to stay on as a customer because they don't want to be reminded that they guess what? I mean, if you, you know, I, I, I know m most of everybody in here is probably happily married, but, you know, have you ever seen somebody that maybe you know, went through a divorce? They usually don't keep a lot of pictures of their, you know, husband, you know, <laughs> to be reminded of that situation. Do you guys see? What I'm saying is what? A thousand customers is way better than a thousand agents. Someone goes, well, then wait a second. Why would I get, why would I want to introduce people to this opportunity? Because what's even better than a thousand customers is a thousand leaders. That's all I want is leaders. Do you guys get it? I'm not trying to sign an agent up. I want leaders and customers. Now, the gateway to leaders is signing them up as an agent and then get them to the movement event. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So we've got to make sure because guess what? If they're not committed to going to the convention, easy tasks become difficult. Things that are very simple now become a challenge. You'll have people that are like, man, were you on the, con were, you know, did you get onto the webinar? No, I, I didn't get make it. Well, you must not be registered for movement. You know what I mean? You must. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I tried W, W, uh, I couldn't find the dot, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're not talking about something so darn difficult. How do you get on the conference call? You got to dial the numbers in the exact order. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> right? It's ridiculous, okay? So here's what we know for sure, okay? Is when, a go when, when the lead goose gets tired, it rotates back into formation and another goose flies in the point position. See how smart they are? What does that mean? Here's what I learned from that is what? We must register all of our agents for the next national so we can develop more leaders. If we don't fully leverage the national event, we will burn ourselves out trying to motivate everybody. Yeah. Believe in your agents, trust in them, and get them so, to the next national so they get a chance to shine. Yes. How beautiful is that? If you're, not getting people, huh, if you're not getting people to the event, that's wild. You want to develop leaders. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna run yourself in the ground going out there trying to motivate everybody trying to get everybody all fired up. I'm not trying to motivate people. I'm going to bring them to the land of motivation, the national convention. Do you see how smart that is? 
Well, that's all we've got to do right now. Fact number three about geese. You guys already know this one, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. The geese in formation honk from behind to encourage those up in front to keep up their speed. So they're, they're encouraging one another. Look what they're doing. Obviously, go out of your way to praise agents and give them recognition for committing to attend the next national. That's, I love that. How beautiful. Give them recognition for attending the national. Why would we want to do that? That's a no-brainer. Because guess what? Recognition is the mother of momentum. Always remember to constantly provide praise and recognition for agents that, that are committing to attending the next national event. Oh my God. Fact number five about geese, a lot of you know, when a goose gets sick or wounded or shot down, geese drop out of formation and follow it down to help and protect it. Gosh, how good are these geese? You ever do that? You ever see someone pulled over on the side of the road? You're like, man, I want to go help that person. But you're scared they might be like a killer. So you're like, I don't know. I want to, I want to help them. You know what I mean? <laughs> be honest, right? <laughs> Here's what I'll tell you, though. Look at this. The goose, they're just going to stay committed no matter what, and they're going to help people. They will launch again after they've helped that person get back, uh, they've helped that goose get back uh, committed again. They'll fly with another formation and catch up to their flock. What the heck? How smart are geese? When an agent faces challenges, we must get them to the next national event. You're going to have people going, oh, man, I don't really know if I want to go. It's like, you can't be like, all right, do whatever you want then. You know what I mean? Like, What? Or do you not care about people? Someone says they're not going to go. That's like, what? Stop. You, what, you're not going to go? Oh, my God. Time out. Everybody gather around. Let's talk to this person. Talk them off the ledge. <laughs> you got to go to the national. It's non-debatable. That's my, now, some people say, well, you know what it is. You know, it's not, you don't have to go. I, I mean, you don't have to drive your car with your hands. You know, you could use your... <laughs> You could use your feet, but I'm not going to recommend it. You guys, it's like, uh, I mean, come on, right? Some things are no-brainers. you got to be at the event, you know? <laughs> I hope it's okay if I have fun, right? Because I lived past that exit like three exits ago. But I'm like way past fun. But I'm just like, hey, I read a lot of books on success. I've never found any book that says in order to be successful, you got to be miserable. So I just said, hey, I guess that just means I can have fun. So just enjoy life. But here's what we know for sure about geese that I think a lot of you guys are going to find very useful is this. The geese migration routes never vary. This is my favorite one. God, I love this one. The geese migration routes never vary. What? They use the same route year after year. Even when the flock members change, the young learn the route from their parents. So their sponsor, in, 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 in the spring, they will go back to the spot where they were born. Do you guys see that? We got to start getting geese enrolled in this opportunity. Do you guys get that? Because they don't question it. They don't debate it. They just do it. Do you guys get that? I just follow a geese. I'm just like, tell me what to do. I'll do it. I'm not going to question, debate, or discuss it. I'm doing it. Do you guys see how smart that is? So watch what happens. We must make sure that our agents are committed to return to the next national. And we must stay true to our core values. Core values. We must always protect, okay, our core values and register all of our agents for the next national so they can stay on track to achieving their personal goals. When you have a brand new agent get started, you got to get them registered. That's my mindset, man. When I get somebody started, it's more important for you to go to the event. I was talking to a leader yesterday uh, in, in Hawaii. He goes, it's expensive to fly from Vegas to Hawaii. He goes, I want to get started with the opportunity. Should I get a package of products or should I, be at the should I be at the convention? I said, well, if you can only do one, be at the convention. And he said, what? I said, do you think I want to sign you up in this business? I want you to be a leader. How do I get you to be a leader? Getting you to the event. Getting you to that, 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 that safe place where it's okay to dream, where you see the vision of the company and you hear from the people that are making it happen so you know you can do it too. And he's like, what? I can't believe you'd say that. He goes, you know what I realized? He goes, you've got character. And he goes, I'm going to talk to my wife. And I'm thinking, huh. <laughs> it's easier to beg for forgiveness and ask for permission. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody that's married is going, uh huh. <laughs> but here's what we know for sure. <laughs> here's what we know for sure is guess what? This guy's coming. His wife's like, man, you know what? I'm glad that you found this guy. He goes, this is the person that you need to be working with. Somebody that's going to tell you the truth. Not tell you, hey, look, you know what's going to benefit me more if you buy a package of products. I'm not trying to benefit me. That's the compassion and heart that we've got to have is to care about people. Tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. We got to get everybody committed to going to the national event. That's the deal. That's the, that's the secret to success. Obviously, you guys already know, Las Vegas, dude, come on. Yeah. What? If you can't get excited about Las Vegas, <laughs> We're going to have too much fun. I don't even know if, secret, if Vegas is ready for secret. <laughs> oh, man. That is, what, what is going to be too good. So obviously, guys, get ready for this. This is going to be March uh, 13th and 15th. Obviously, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to tell you real quickly before we, before we go forward. There's this book, Daniel Coyle. This is the little book of talent. Some of you guys are over my house last night. You saw me just too excited about the, the book called The Talent Code. And next, not the, the, in, in April 25th, uh, 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 we've got some, I'm going to be doing a special training here. We're going to talk about that in a second, but uh, I'm going to be doing a, 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 an advanced leadership on this talent code. I mean, I'm like blown away by this. It's, it's a it's the talent code. It's a book about how to develop talent. This guy researches these talent hotbeds all across the world and finds out why all these, 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 these leaders come out of these certain markets. Like, in, 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 you know, you look at in, in New York, Meadow, I think it's called Meadowwood or something, they have a place where all these, you know, Yo-Yo Ma and all these geniuses just, that are just unbelievable champions, they all came out of this. You know, and there's these, in, the, in, in Spartak, in, in Russia, they've got these, this tennis, where all these tennis champions come out of. And they try to figure out what it is. What he, you know, he goes on a 10-year mission to find out what it is. Why these leaders are, are being created out of one, one environment. And I'm going to be share, sharing with you guys how you can take your organization and we can take this market and turn this into a talent hotbed where we're just going to be cranking out. And I've always tried to figure it out. You know, in the last 18 years of doing network marketing, why I've helped so many people become, you know, millionaires in this, you know, in this industry, I was like, I, I mean, I don't get it. I never graduated high school. I never went to college. I'm not a smart guy. You know, I was, came from a poor family. You know, how am I be able to, why am I able to be able to be successful at this industry? And when I read this book, I'm like, huh, that's what I do. That's what I do. It's about getting people to step up. And I don't want to ruin it because that's, that's in April, okay? <laughs> but I'm just letting you guys know that it's about getting people to step up, okay? It's about, and you got to, hey, look, you know what? How do I get other people to step up? First, you got to step up. You can't create independent leaders if you're still dependent. Do you guys get that? And so you got to step up and say, look, you know what? I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to go all out. And it starts by getting committed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I'm going to tell you right now, in this book, I, I can't, God, I can't ruin it, but, huh. In this book, they take this, this, this violin composer, teacher, genius expert, and I got all the documentation in the, in the training, but he researches these people and finds out why some of them are, the, some of them are great. You know, so he, he, he studies these kids, and when they first started playing the violin, he asked them a question is, how committed are you? And how he asked them is, how long do you intend, how long do you intend to play the violin. Some people said forever. Some people said maybe a year or two. Depends if I like it or not. And some people said, I don't really know. My parents are kind of making me come. <laughs> Do you guys see the difference? Yes. And he said it wasn't the hours. It wasn't the time that they put in. It was their commitment level. The people that were fully committed that said, I'm going to play it for the rest of my life. Those people when you see the scale of how much more successful they became than everybody else, it'll, it'll change your life. Because it's not about where you are right now, it's this. This is the question you gotta ask yourself right now is this, is how committed am I? How committed am I to becoming successful? How, how committed am I to becoming a six-figure and seven-figure earner with secret? Do you guys, that's the deal. It wasn't about, hey, when we first got started in secret, I wasn't like, man, let's just to put the toe in the water and see if this thing is gonna happen. Do you guys see it? It was, we're going to make it happen, or I'm going to die trying. There is no, like, margin for error. There's no, like, we'll give it a shot. We're not, you understand? This is it. That's the, that's my, that's the way that my brain functions. I don't understand, let's just mess around with it a little bit. It's like, man, we're going to make it happen no matter what. That's the mindset. 
So I know some of you right now, you're kind of like, well, that's not really the way that I am. Why not? The good news is you're not a, you know, you're not a goose. Do you guys get that? Because geese, they're kind of just stuck winning. Do you guys get what I'm saying? It's up to you to decide whether you want to win or not. It's up to you to decide, hey, look, you know what? I'm going to make this happen. And it starts by getting committed. It starts by making that commitment. People ask me, say, Tim, you know, once I start making some money, then I'm going to get committed. No, 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 that doesn't make any sense. Once you get committed, then you're going to become successful. And it starts by saying, I'm going to make it happen. So here's what I tell you right now is this, is look, this is where it starts off, is, is, is obviously get one foot out, get him back to Kara. We're going to make it happen. God bless you guys. We're going to see everybody in Las Vegas. Let's make it happen, everybody.